After his 12th examinations, G.K. Prabhu decided to pursue B.Tech in Bapuji Institute of Engineering and Technology. Just like he was in school, an outstanding student, he managed to display excellence in engineering. He was supposed to receive a Medal of Honor for his outstanding performance after his fourth year examinations. Instead, G.K. Prabhu was detained in one lab exam. Shaken, heartbroken and devastated to get this result, he confined himself to his room after that, sat in a corner and thought about his next steps in life. It was a very crucial time for him. He had even the thought of ending his life and getting free from the guilt that he had. But the thought of his parents' condition after his suicide kept him going. It gave him a new will to live, a new goal to undo what was done, a new hope to make everything right. He gathered all the scattered pieces of his life to set out and fight again. The only problem now was his financial condition. The solution his college provided was to teach the lower semester classes while continuing his own studies. He thought about it for a while and finally decided to go ahead with this plan but on one note. He will be telling his story to the class he will be teaching and if they are ready to be taught by a professor who failed his last two exams, he will continue with the proposed plan. God's and his parents' blessings were with him all the time. The whole class agreed to this arrangement and this embarked the starting of G.K. Prabhu's teaching career. After this incident, G.K. Prabhu came to his home ground, Manipur. He joined the ENC department in MIT and started afresh. The choice of his subjects was strange. He picked the most difficult subject of ENC, which is electromagnetic waves. He taught us uh, a very difficult subject, very theoretical and mathematical subject it was, known as electromagnetic waves. If you ask him, he will tell that he did not teach it well. You know, he has made this reference in several of his talks that it was one of his earliest subjects and uh, very beginning in his teaching career. I have heard him tell it more than once that he was so nervous in taking that particular subject. He went to a very senior professor, Sir Eschebol, and uh, explained himself that, you know, I don't know how to handle this subject. It is so difficult. Even then, for us, uh, the way he taught it, Made it uh, very, I wouldn't say easy, but we had a definite approach.